As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. The shuffle, run, shuffle is exactly what it says on the tin. Start position is gonna be at the center of the baseline, the T. From here, we're either gonna go in the left or the right, depending on which repetition you're on. But initially, I'm gonna to go to the left. So I'm gonna start in the center line with the T of the baseline, and from here, I'm gonna shuffle, and then you're gonna to sprint to the inner tram line, or 8.2 meters to my right, and then from there, I'm gonna shuffle back into the center line. Now, in this drill, I would recommend that you initiate with a crossover because you're gonna get much bigger ground coverage. It's gonna be much more realistic to covering this sort of distance on the tennis court. So from here, I'm gonna initiate with a crossover step, a shuffle, make sure that my foot goes past the line. I'm not gonna cheat. And from here, I'm gonna change direction 180 degrees and run over to here. Again, crossover, shuffle. That's a repetition to the left, so I'm now I'm gonna initiate this repetition to my right. Crossover, shuffle, change direction, cr crossover, shuffle, and back to the start position.